This is an example of nutmeg liver. It is caused by chronic venous congestion where the central veins and sinusoids become congested giving the cut surface a nutmeg-like appearance. This change is seen in patients with congestive cardiac failure or right-sided heart failure. This ovarian cyst is a chocolate cyst caused by endometriosis. The chocolate, of course, is blood. Lardaceous and sago spleen are caused by amyloidosis of the spleen. The type of lymphoma containing popcorn cells is nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. The popcorn cells are a type of Reed Sternberg cell. There are a number of conditions that give the urine a Coca-Cola-like appearance. In this case, it was post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. The ovarian tumour, characterised by cells containing coffee bean nuclei, is the Brenner tumour. This is a type of sex cord tumour of the ovary. The liver disease causing onion skin type fibrosis around bile ducts is primary sclerosing cholangitis. The condition causing a honeycomb-like appearance of the lung is pulmonary fibrosis. An older term for this condition is fibrosing alveolitis. Strawberry gallbladder is caused by cholesterol deposits in the gallbladder mucosa, giving it a strawberry-like appearance. The pathological term is cholesterolosis.
The testicular tumour with a cut surface resembling a potato is the classical seminoma. The heart condition resembling bread and butter is bread and butter pericarditis. This appearance is seen in fibrinous pericarditis. Peau d'orange is a type of appearance seen in the skin when the lymphatics become blocked, causing edema to develop in the surrounding areas of skin. Peau d'orange associated with breast cancer is when the lymphatics in the skin become blocked by tumour cells. The type of bladder tumour that resembles a bunch of grapes is the sarcoma botyroides. Botyroid refers to a grape-like appearance. Sarcoma botyroides is an embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma, a malignant tumour of striated muscle. The condition that has caused swelling in this epididymis is TB and the cheese-like appearance is caused by caseation. Caseous means cheese-like. The liver abscess that has an anchovy paste-like appearance is an amoebic abscess. The type of lung cancer that has cells resembling oats is of course oat cell carcinoma, usually referred to these days as small cell carcinoma. The tumour cells show neuroendocrine changes, hence the positive CD56 stain. Amyloid, when stained with Congo red or Sirius red, shows apple green birefringence when polarised. This renal biopsy is a good example of amyloid. You can see the apple green birefringence in the glomeruli, where the amyloid is deposited. The lesion at the base of the brain is a berry aneurysm. This one has a striking resemblance to a blueberry.
Very aneurysms occur in the circle of Willis at the base of the brain and are a major cause of subarachnoid haemorrhage. The condition that has the gross appearance of scattered millet seeds is miliary TB. The small pale nodules in this lung are little tubercles caused by miliary TB. The icing on the cake for the last question of this quiz is the sugar icing appearance on the spleen. This is called perisplenitis. It is caused by fibrosis on the surface of the spleen. The only significance is that it clearly demonstrates the pathological obsession pathologists have with naming conditions after food. Yeah.